This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in this video we'll be reviewing the arcade classic Captain Commando. Before we start, I'd like to say that Babyhead is my favorite. First released in 1991 for the arcades by Capcom, the futuristic side-scrolling beat-em-up Captain Commando has since been adapted to a number of different platforms. This was the company's 16th game for the CP system platform. The game's hero, Captain Commando, who was created to serve as a fictitious representative for Capcom USA's console games in the late 80s, is the game's main attraction. Digital versions of Captain Commando were made available for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows on September 18, 2018, as part of the Capcom Beat Em Up bundle, which was announced on September 13 and included seven other games. Many characters and locations from Capcom's earlier Beat Em Up, Final Fight, make cameo appearances here as well as in the game's futuristic take on Metro City. Now we are in the year 2026. Globally, criminal activity is rampant. It is time for Captain Commando and his three loyal commando companions to eradicate this crime from Earth and the galaxy at large. Yet, the criminals of the future possess a dark and mysterious ability. Several of them have superhuman talents and are hence considered criminals. Scumicide, also known as Genocide in Japan, is the top supercriminal. The mechanics of Captain Commando are identical to those of Capcom's earlier beat-em-up, Final Fight. The arcade version may support two, three, or even four players at once, depending on the options chosen. Each player takes control of a different, Commando, Mac, Captain, Ginzu, or Baby Head, and players may choose whichever one they like most. The player, as usual, must make their way to the finish of each level, destroy any enemies they encounter while avoiding any traps they may set, and then face the monster that awaits them there. There are a total of 9 levels in the game. An 8-way joystick allows the player to move their character left, right, toward, or away from the backdrop, and 2 action buttons let him to attack or leap. The player has a wide variety of options for attacking while standing or leaping, including grabbing the adversary and a unique strike that drains some of the player's health if they press attack and jump at the same time. The ability to dash by pressing the joystick twice in any direction is a new feature. The player may either attack while running or when jumping while running. It's similar to Final Fight in that there are health packs and other bonuses tucked away in barrels and other breakable objects that the player may find to regain health and boost their overall score. Furthermore, you may get your hands on three other kinds of weaponry in addition to the Shuri Ken, which only Ginzu can use. When players dismount their riders and leap over the robot, they are able to ride the robot. The robots have a health bar that will be depleted if they take enough damage. In this game, you'll encounter three distinct robots, each with its own unique abilities, one that punches, one that throws flames, and one that freezes. The player, in contrast to Final Fight, is allowed to keep their weapons with them while they go between areas. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are all small clicks for you, but they mean the world to this little channel. Thank you.